uh, I'm Richard Greffin. Um, in this video you're going to see me make a spatula uh, out of juniper uh, using a one inch skew chisel. As you can see the uh, spatula blank is held in some long nosed jaws that's because this wood splits very easily and uh, any kind of spur drive would maybe encourage the wood to split which I don't want. Uh, I'm aiming to turn all this with a one inch skew chisel uh, running at around 1600. See pretty well what's happening with the shadow up on the top horizon here. And that sounded like a splinter coming out. Yep, just there. Otherwise it's okay. So I like to come uh, doing the long slopes with the long point down, so the tool's pointing more in the direction I'm going. It's me interacting with the camera. head is normally where the camera is so I can't really see what I'm doing here. So I thought it would be a nice fat handle on this one. This hand comes in rather like a, a movable tail centre. Just get rid of that little bump there. I used to put a bead in around here, but um, I used to prefer the planar shapes. And much nicer to use the planar shapes and wash up. Yep, I think that'll be fine. So that now needs to be sanded. So start in with uh, 180 grit. I'm going to have my hand over the top and just squeeze the abrasive around the wood. It's a pretty good cut so it doesn't need too much attention. And up here you hold either end. Of, uh, 
Right, and that will do it. And I don't oil them at this stage. I do that once I've done the paddle. You're pulling off when with one end uh, held in a chuck, you've got to be a little bit careful because you don't want this swinging around in huge circles. You just use the long point to come in, just like cutting a V-groove. And this time you're going all the way through. And that's the rattling bit, so the sooner you can hit the stop button, the off button, the better. And hang on to it. Now the juniper is a pretty soft timber. Um, if it were much harder, I would probably cut this off on a bandsaw. Uh, but as it is, I've got a, uh, a 40 grit disc. And some dust extraction, which is what you also need. And then you can shape it whatever shape you like. Yeah. In this case, I just want a curve. So you want to slim that down a bit. A bit of a skew. I can finish this off on the pad on a soft sander, uh, and this is um, 180 grit, I think. And I find I can go from 40 to 180 uh, on the sander like this quite happily. Much finer bits can be done again with 240 grit and just the uh, handwork elbow grease. And that just rounds the um, rounds the sides off. And the end, which I almost forgot. And that gets oiled. That's going to be oiled. Use one of the socks for that. And it can join the other ones.